trying to do is to announce good news today. What I'm able to announce is that the tram extension will take place. We know since 2004, millions of people used the tram. Last year, 10 million people used the tram. The announcement today means an extension to Beeston, to Clifton as well, and it will mean that millions more will be able to use the tram. It will regenerate and make this wonderful city even more wonderful. Your important question, how is it going to be funded? Is it wise to be investing, particularly in this economic climate? We believe that we should invest in all parts of our country. Nottingham is a wonderful city uh, and is worthy of more investment, in more jobs, more regeneration. What we've announced today is £530 million invested by the government. The City Council has taken the, the brave decision, I believe the correct decision, to fund a contribution towards that. They'll be contributing £150 million. And I think this demonstrates that the government, in partnership with the local MPs, in partnership with the City Council, is investing in the people of Nottingham, not just for today, but for years to follow as well. I understand that you're going to be endorsing the, uh, the workplace parking levy as a one way of uh, helping to fund this project. Um, not going to be entirely popular with, with everyone. Is this going to signal a start of funding similar, to this, similar projects elsewhere as well? Well, look, it's for the City Council to decide how they fund their share of the contribution. They've decided that they want to fund this via workplace levy. What it means is that they'll be able to contribute their share towards this, which means that the tram can extend. And look, if we are committed to having a planet that survives into the 21st, 22nd century, if we're committed to encourage people to use their cars less, if we're committed to having growth in the city, then the council needs to find ways of funding this. And I'll make this point. Uh, we've looked at the figures the council have given us, and uh, more than 85% of businesses have 10 or less car parking spaces, so they're not eligible to pay the, the workplace levy. Uh, of those that are eligible, uh, for more than 95% of those, uh, any workplace levy would, would be about less than 1% of the annual turnover. We've also agreed to delay any workplace levy until 2012, so during these difficult times, they will need to be paid. And we're going to help the council by filling the gap with a £13 million contribution to fill that gap until 2012.